Because colorectal cancer really starts to be common in the average population at age 50, uh, that's the time that we recommend that the large intestine be checked for the presence of colon and rectal cancer. Screening is defined as looking for a disease before it's caused any symptoms. And this is important for cancer and colon and rectal cancer in, in particular because when we find the disease early, we can cure it. We stage colorectal cancer according to how it's spread. And you can have stage one disease, which is the earliest stage, stage four disease, which is the most advanced stage where it's already spread to other organs. If we find colon and rectal cancer at stage one, we can cure almost every patient with surgery alone. No need for chemotherapy, just surgery will cure that patient. If we find it at stage three, we can cure about two-thirds of patients, but chemotherapy is needed. So it's important to screen to find the disease at an early stage. The other reason it's important to screen patients for colon and rectal cancer is that we can find the precancerous stage of the disease, the benign polyp. All colon and rectal cancers arise in a benign polyp. And we can prevent the cancer by taking out the polyp. The trouble is that we really don't know that polyps are there. They're usually asymptomatic. And so we can find them if we get screened. Usually polyps start off small and get bigger and bigger. And the bigger they are, the higher the risk of them turning into cancer. And so we like to find polyps of any size, but the small ones in particular don't usually show up on barium enemas or CAT scans. The only way to find those little polyps and take them out is with colonoscopy. And so therefore, to summarize about colon cancer screening and prevention, the best test is the colonoscopy. Starting at age 50, if you are at average risk, starting younger if you have a family history, and then being done at intervals for the rest of your life, depending on what's found. So if you have a colonoscopy at age 50 and it's normal, you can have another one at about eight years later, because we figure it takes about 10 years for a small polyp to turn into cancer if it's going to. However, if polyps are found in your first screening colonoscopy, you can be happy and that it's possible you've been prevented from getting a colon or rectal cancer. But we need to check your colon a bit earlier, three to five years, depending on how many polyps you had and how big they were.